Have you ever considered the possibility that we inhabit a matrix-like world, a realm where reality is not as we perceive it, but rather a sophisticated simulation crafted by a more advanced civilization? A provocative question indeed, yet one that has been contemplated in the annals of philosophy, science, and technology, and continues to captivate our collective imagination. Welcome to the captivating world of simulation theory, where the lines blur between what's real and what's not. The essence of this concept can be traced back to the ancient philosophers who wrestled with the nature of reality itself. Plato, the ancient Greek philosopher, proposed the allegory of the cave where individuals perceive shadows on the cave wall as reality, oblivious to the world outside. In this scenario, the cave is our perceptual limitation and the shadows our perception of reality. But what if there's a world beyond our perception, a more profound reality we're not privy to? Fast forward to the 20th century and the musings of Bostrom's simulation hypothesis. Here, the Swedish philosopher suggests that if a civilization advanced enough to simulate consciousness exists, then it is more likely we are living in a simulation rather than base reality. An unsettling thought, isn't it? On a more scientific front, quantum mechanics seems to support the idea of a simulated reality. The bizarre and often counterintuitive nature of particles at a quantum level their ability to exist in multiple places at once or to change their properties when observed might suggest that our reality is not as solid as it seems. Could this be an indication of a coded reality similar to a computer program? Eh, but not all are convinced. Critics argue that such a simulation would require unfathomable computational power and resources. Furthermore, the existence of pain, suffering, and the sheer complexity of our world from its biology to its physics seem implausible to be mere products of a simulation. Yet, even as the debate rages on, it's essential to remember that the question is not just about whether we live in a simulation, but what that implies about the nature of consciousness, reality, and existence itself. To summarize, uh, the concept of a matrix-like world, a simulated reality, is one that has been contemplated by philosophers, scientists, and thinkers alike. From Plato's allegory of the cave, suggesting a reality beyond our perception, to Bostrom's simulation hypothesis, positing that we're more likely to be in a simulation than not, and the peculiarities of quantum mechanics all offer intriguing perspectives on the nature of reality. Yet the skepticism remains, with critics pointing out the implausibility of such a grand simulation. So do we live in a matrix-like world? The jury is still out. But in the words of philosopher and writer Robert M. Persig, the truth knocks on the door and you say, oh, go away, I'm looking for the truth, and so it goes away, puzzling.